Well, many scientists agree that we are living through what they call the sixth great extinction today, which is seeing animal species disappearing at a rate not seen for millions of years. And half of all animal species are predicted to become extinct if things continue the way they are within 100 to 200 years. So I'm interested in the emergence of arguments that the loss of certain animal species threatened health by depriving people of what scientists called ecosystem services, such as potential medicines or nutrient recycling, and the, a belief that the loss of specific species would cause virus, viruses to spill over into humans because the depletion of animals would cause um, would disrupt host virus relations. So this, this is the key, this is the key question is, is should we continue to prioritise in conservation campaigns big mammals like the panda, like the rhino, which certain people argue that their extinction wouldn't pose as great a threat to human health as the loss of certain other less iconic species such as varieties of coral. There's a tension in this project and in my research between a, a utilitarian and instrumentalist view of nature, so should we only save those animals that are of use to us, um, and a more rights-based approach to nature where every animal has a right to be saved and a right to exist irrespective of its value to people. Given the dire warnings about the rates of species loss and the consequences of species loss for human health, I believe we urgently need histories that help us reflect on which animals count in our society today and why. And it's my aim with this project to engage with these current concerns. And the Wellcome Trust have recently awarded me a five-year research project to look at the history of scientific interest in the connections between species loss and human health.